Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, will be a full face using Juvia's Place Bomb Makeup Tutorial. So if you guys aren't familiar with what Bomb stands for, it stands for Black Owned Makeup Brands, which is also going to be a series here on my channel where whether I discuss just one product that's Black Owned or just a full face like today's video that's Black Owned. The whole point of the video is just to shed light on Black Owned Makeup Brands. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. And you guys can expect a video like this every week here on my channel. So this is going to be the first one. So like I said before, this will be a full face using Juvia's Place. If you guys aren't really familiar with Juvia's Place, then I don't know what you've been doing for real for real. Because this brand, I love it so much. This brand is amazing. And I really feel like if you struggle trying to find um, anything that's co your complexion, whether it's a foundation, concealer, or just um, any eyeshadows that work on your skin tone, this is the brand for you, okay? So I'm not going to really say too much. I'm going to let the product speak for itself because you will see in the video that they do. So yes, if you guys like this video and would like to see more, then please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. All right, guys, so I'm starting off with carving out my brows, and after I carve out my brows, I'm going to blend down that concealer um, onto my crease and halfway through my lid, and then I'm going to take my lighter shade concealer in the shade 13, and I'm going to be using that as my eyeshadow base, so I'm just going to be applying that and then blending it out with my Giuseppe brush. Now I'm just showing you guys my palette collection from Juvia's Place. I love it so much, but obviously I'm not going to be using every single palette. Um, every palette that I am using was listed on the screen and will be listed below. I know that I had said, um, the well, I didn't even say it in the video, but you guys can see that it was four palettes that I said I was going to use, but it's actually just three. I was going to use the Warrior 2 palette, but I decided not to. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there now. My lighting completely changes. Like, not even just the lighting, but the angles and everything. Like, it's going to be a drastic difference in about, like, two seconds. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all. Please do not come for me because I had got a phone call and I had to take the phone call. So, it ended up messing up my lighting and everything because I had to, like, just reposition my phone and stuff like that and the lighting just completely changed and stuff so yeah this is what the rest of the video is gonna look like i'm sorry you guys i just i hate when people call me while i'm recording you know that really just grinds my gears but yeah so i'm just carving out my eyes my little crease or whatever okay hopefully this doesn't bother y'all i really hope it doesn't bother y'all it bothers the hell out of me but hopefully it doesn't bother you guys as long as i mean as you can see the colors and stuff like that you know i don't see what's the big deal i guess but still that really did bother me but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys before it just switched up like that but yeah
also now I'm going in with my foundation. Now I had put like two spots on my face and then I realized that I didn't put my um, powder on before, which is um, the shade Gobi. That is what I use to highlight my under eye along with uh, Kalahari too, but I just used Go before today because the concealer that I used was a little bit more on the light side, so I had to like balance it out. But yeah, so I ended up putting that powder on my face. And I know those powders are like really, really light, but obviously you can't really even tell. I just use it to mattify my face a lot more. So my foundation could last a lot more, even though this foundation is pretty long lasting. It has a really nice velvet finish. And yeah, and this applicator obviously is not for the Juvia's Place foundation, but this is just what I like to use to apply it because, um, you know, Juvia's Place foundation doesn't have like an applicator or anything like that, like a pump or nothing like that. So yeah, I still need something to apply the foundation. So that's what I used. And yeah, I'm just going to be blending that out. And I'm going to go ahead and um, tell you guys now that I did not include the part where I had put my, I, like I highlighted my face or anything. Because I'll be making some crazy ass faces. I'll be looking like a damn psycho. And y'all don't need to be seeing all of that. Like y'all done seen me put on concealer and stuff before. So I mean, because if you, if you want to see it that bad, then go watch my other videos and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to be doing that. So after I highlighted with the Vanessa palette, I went in with my liquid lipstick and lip liner. The liquid lipstick is in the shade Yoko and the lip liner is in the shade Scorpio. So yes, you guys, I didn't really feel like a brown would go good with this look. So I did my best to try to make it into a purple tint. So I just took a purple eyeshadow on my lips while they were still kind of tacky and I gave it like a little purplish hue. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this look. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.